Today is bodywork day. You see that there's a little bit of rust here, which isn't a hole yet. But if you scroll down, down, you'll see there's a hole there. So I'm more than likely just gonna cut up here and just change that bottom piece. But before I decide if that's what I wanna do, I'm gonna grind that out to see how solid it is. Um, underneath, actually, surprisingly, as you see, is solid, a little bit of surface rust. So that's supposed to be like that right there. A lot of dirt back there, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna clean it up and see what we got, and we'll go from there. So now that we got the piece cut out, and we have it weld through a primer on it, you see here's the other piece. Now I'm lapping it, which means the other piece is gonna come up to about here. Now I'm only doing that for a couple of reasons. My biggest reason is, once this is inspected, this is gonna be welded solid which means I have tons of spots to blend out my, my lap joint with body fill. If I wasn't welding my door solid, I would actually cut it and fit it way better than what it's gonna be. I'd actually probably fit it right where I actually put the spray through primer or weld through primer. So keep that in mind on how you guys are doing it. I'm lapping it because I'm welding the door solid because we are making a truck out of this. So you see here, I will be fixing that spot in the back side once I get the front side on the dog leg was rotten, so I cut it all out. So this is the joys. The inside of the door is all cut out and grind it back is what we wanted because it will be lapped, so the other piece will come in here. Again, I'm only doing that because, again, the doors we welded solid after inspection. We're just getting it inspected before we start cutting the roof and welding it. So technically, this will be all grinded through here for the door to be welded to it, which will bring my lip up anyways. So that's why we're doing it that way. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we got the piece test fitted. So like I was saying, I'm lapping it. So there's always gonna be a lap. So this is gonna be always higher than here, but technically the body line's here so I can feather it up to this. And then you got this right here. So it won't be too bad. But again, what I was trying to say is I'm welding this solid here all the way down and up here, which is gonna bring that all up. And it'll give me more area this way to blend in my panel. Cause I'm gonna be, this is gonna be a box side. So for me, this is the best spot to do it this way. If I was doing it not to make it a truck, I'd do it differently. As you see here, it's in spot. Now, again, I'm not gonna be too fussy in here because it's gonna be welded solid, you're never gonna see it. So I'll make sure it's primed, maybe toss on some pour 15 or something, and then you'll never see it ever again. But that's after the inspection. So there, we got it up to where we need it. We're gonna grind all the way around. That way it makes it easier to weld. Once we stitch our welds in, in different spots, I can start pulling these out and doing some butt welds in there. So stay tuned guys, we can grind it down. Now again, I'm not going too crazy in here. I'll put a couple more tacks in here. Right now I only got three, four holding it in spot. Um, this is welded solid as you see. And again, I did lap it and I told you why. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feather this back, feather this back, and I'm gonna actually end up fiberglassing all my welds waterproof it and then you can get into fill which won't be today or anytime soon because honestly it's just getting some glass on both sides once the other side's welded in and then the bumper is going on and then it's going in for the uh, inspection and rebuild title that way there's no rust there's no holes and it will pass and uh, then I will weld all this up solid all the way across I'll grind the door I'll do some uh, some uh, weld through primer through there, whatever the case may be, but there's no point of body filling all this to weld right here because it's gonna burn, right? So I just wanna seal my welds and seal the, the, the body metal up. Leave a comment, know what you guys think. I'm kind of excited to see this turned into a two-door truck. As you guys see, there it is so far. It shouldn't be too, too bad. Now there's a couple things I'm doing that you might've just noticed. I am gonna cut this straight across here, weld that solid down. Um, the fitment there is pretty shitty actually. So we'll leave it at that and uh, stay tuned guys. And here you have it. I just gobbed, I shouldn't say gob. I put some fiberglass around the welds. Once it dries, I can knock it down. More than likely I won't because literally it is just being taken out of the garage, driving over for the inspection, coming home and the doors are being welded solid. So for now, this isn't the best idea. I wouldn't be driving for this. Um, especially bare metal, it will rust. So it's just gonna stay in my garage and then it will leave here, go to the other garage and then come home and weld it up. So for now, it waterproofs my welds for now. 
and uh, then it's time to start going. I might get energetic, but I don't want to do nothing until I can weld that door shut because that whole body line has to be welded up all the way to there. So one side down, I still got to patch that hole inside, which I'll do now. And then uh, this side will be done and I'll trim down here, still cut across, weld it up solid, bang it in. And this side's done and the bumper can go back on. Here's inside the driver's side wheel. There was a hole there. You see the hole still there. Um, weld through primer underneath of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cleaning this up. I welded that piece all the way in, as you can see. Let's try to hold that like that. So what I plan on doing is putting that down nice and tight. I'll clean it up a little bit and then I'll weld that across and it'll be done. So that's one less side done. You see there's a little gap right there. I'll bend that down and in and I'll weld it up. Stay tuned. Right. This side is done. Now, obviously you can see the difference because it's very fresh. Um, I use black rubber undercoat asphalt just to give it that factory rubber look. Um, once you drive it a little bit, it will look the same as the old um, brownish black stuff now. And that's what was there before. So now it's done, it's fixed right. I'll finish tacking on that bottom part there to get that screw out. And then the driver's side is done. As you see, the glass is still there. So this side's ready for inspection, which is a bonus. And then we can continue with our truck build.